So I wanted to talk a little bit about my work uh, using natural materials and uh, sort of where the project all came from in the first place. So uh, in late 2015, I began a project that uh, I titled Postcards from Nowhere. And part of that was actually beginning to draw these very private drawings. Uh, I liked the idea of a kind of a disposability of the drawings. They were just these small, literal postcards that I drew with uh, different media, um, beginning with the objects that I would find around me, from my own hand to, of course, uh, longleaf pine cones, feathers, and so I began to just draw those with pen and ink. And then I kind of began to work with things further outside of it, making compositions of uh, places that uh, caught my eye, or domestic scenes like my own shadow here uh, with multiple uh, lights in the corner of a room. Uh, and then I began to look at things outside myself and my community, inside my community, uh, such as the, this old um, fruit stand and the, and the marquee, the lighted marquee that uh, is on the side of most highways. And that really began to give me a sense of place. And I was interested in, in really examining both this, uh, the kind of aesthetics of decay and the evidence of human presence. So those two strains really began to figure into my uh, into the subjects that I would work with. Uh, so part of that down here, if you see the uh, 12 towels drying on the fence, that's another example a little bit later of finding uh, a, a kind of still life that uh, is reference to human activity or this kind of human involvement on the landscape. And so um, I'm, I'm kind of working with both of those ideas and the, and the impermanency of life. Um, as I began to develop this work, I was also interested in uh, making, I stumbled upon making natural material, uh, ink out of natural materials. And so one of the things I began to do is experiment with, I made some ink out of oak uh, acorns and then made uh, a small sketch using the acorn ink uh, and that's the tree that the acorns came from uh, and I got some uh, palm fruits and you can kind of see some of the palm fruits and and painted the palm tree that it came from uh, similarly there's uh, pond scum so I began to collect different materials like pond scum and painting the landscape that it came from I also uh, collected clay from Cypress Creek up in Florence, Alabama, and cactuses from down the, down the road, and painting the places where the materials came from. And then I got a little more experimental and began to work with uh, naturally occurring uh, dung. So this is a uh, cows painted with their own dung, and uh, horses painted with their own uh, manure. And so these two are examples of manure paintings that I've uh, worked with. So again, just this extension of finding natural materials and, and making uh, pigments out of them. So another extension of this practice is finding places that are in transition. This is an example of a a house that I drew uh, about a year ago. It was covered with kudzu and it was um, sort of being swallowed up by this, uh, this ivy, this kudzu, and I made a drawing of it. And then a couple of months ago, the, the place burned down. And so I redrew the house as it was, covered in kudzu and the ruins once it was burned. Uh, and I drew it in charcoal that I actually collected from the, the remnants of the fire. So this is a bag of charcoal that I collected from the uh, ruins of the house uh, over in Boston, Georgia. 
And I was really interested in collecting a material from that site and drawing uh, with it. And so I plan to make a series of drawings uh, with this charcoal. Um, and I really find that finding materials from a place and, and painting or drawing that place uh, ties back in to my interest um, as this project unfolds. So the last piece is actually drawn with walnut ink that I demonstrated uh, making at the beginning. Uh, this is just a study of an oak branch at Pebble Hill, and the walnuts themselves actually were collected on the property at Pebble Hill Plantation, uh, which is a local history museum. So this is uh, just a study of a branch at Pebble Hill using walnut ink.